Uh, yesterday, a call top tipped us off that the first people we could establish who were in business chasing the uh, the 20 grand from the, and the government uh, plan from yesterday was the online retailer Kogan, which is Australia's largest retailer. So we made contact with its founder, Rosalind Kogan, who's on the line now. Good morning. Good morning, Neil. Anybody bought it yet? Oh, I haven't had a look yet, but look, we're having a bit of fun and games with it. We launched a, you know, a budget frenzy sale uh, because everyone was saying, oh, everyone's going to run out and start buying things for their small businesses. And we like to have fun and games like that. We launched a 37-inch Kevin 37 TV when Kevin Rudd had that $900 uh, handout. So, so do you reckon um, it'll sell for you, though? Will people actually come in and say, here's my 19 or 20 grand, and um, what do you got? Do you think it'll um, work? Look, not really. I'd hope that any business out there, if there's legitimate purchases that they need to make that will improve their business, that they haven't been holding off waiting for more favourable tax conditions in order to make that purchase. You had a caller on a few minutes ago that said, oh, now that this has come in, I'm going to buy this and buy this and buy this, and it's going to make my business more efficient. Were they not trying to make their business more efficient three days ago? Like... um, all this might do is if somebody was looking to buy a laptop and uh, they were looking at a $1,200 laptop, they might now buy a slightly better $1,400 laptop. Mm. But essentially all of these things, especially in our industry of consumer electronics, which is a huge part of our business, these things are an investment. When you buy a laptop, um, it's an investment because it pays itself off so quickly because the person using it becomes so much more efficient and productive. Right. And you'd hope that businesses aren't holding off on buying these things, waiting for a tax kickback. Yeah. So will it be good... Uh, Harvey Norman shares went up yesterday, by the way. Will it be good business for you, do you think? Are you going to sell more because of it? Look, our business has been booming for nine years and online retail is growing really fast. Um, you know, it's... if. Anything we're able to do to make our supply chain more efficient, to make our prices better, has a far greater impact on our business than anything like this. So, yeah, people might, um, you know, they might buy the hype and they might think that, oh, now's a better time to start buying for my business. But our advice would be that, you know, no purchase decision should be more attractive now than it was previously. These things do legitimately make your business better. You should be frugal when you spend money in your business and any purchase you need to make that makes your business more efficient and makes your staff more productive you should be doing no matter what the tax conditions are this little bundle you've put together and you did very quickly uh 19 television sets who'd want 19 tv sets oh if if you're a business that's got a few meeting rooms they can also be used as computer monitors oh, okay. put one in the put one in the boardroom um yeah we've noticed that you know, with our business around for so long, uh, when we launched, people used to only have even one TV uh, for their office or, yeah. or their house. Now uh, they're so cheap that they've got them everywhere. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Russell and Kogan, founder of Kogan, the online retailer, and the first to get into the, uh, the budget deals.